Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fine for Kaiserreich as Serbia. Let us continue on for the last off. So it is time. The third revolution, 21 days from now. And we could attack you. Like, like right at this very moment. Is that is that what we want to do? Like right, right now. Well, I think I'm gonna take a quick save. Just in just in case. Just in case. What, can my cavalry deploy? They can. Okay, get the cavalry deployed. Put, move them to the front line. And I'm trying to think about which, like, the path you want to take. Probably moving our way along the coast would make the most sense. And I'm, I think we just kind of, I think we just kind of do it, man. How many days have we got on this? 20 days. I mean, let's try it. Like, what do we got to lose, right? What do we, what do we got to lose? Maybe, maybe the game. Uh, if I actually replace you, is it, does it just go up by one level? Like, if I were to take, for example, limited conscription, would that make this, uh, it's, it's not service by requirement, it's, it's like sense conscription? Well, I'm gonna take it now, and do you increase it? Yes, you go, just go straight to extensive. it, fantastic. So again, we've got the Austrians fighting against Hungary, and it's really the um, it's really like the best outcome we have. You give me recovery rates, leader cost, war support goes up, the elite national populism goes down. I mean that's good for us. You are Dusan. Is Dusan one of these guys? He's not. And then you are Mila Nedek. But you're not Mulitin. You're a different guy. So I mean you're you both are. I guess supportive of the uh, of the revolution, somewhat. Industry tech. I mean, we're in late thirty-seven. You know, go through thirty-eight research. I feel okay with that number. Paraguay's clear war on Argentina. We might even get support from the international in this war as well. We might get some volunteer forces, which would be quite nice. Romania. I don't really know what your plan is. I'm a little bit worried for you, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. Six days against you. Thing is, I don't know if Austria has enough units to to fight all these fronts. Six to forty-eight. It, it's not a ton. It's not that many. Okay, the revolution. With the support of thousands of citizens on the streets and the commanding absolute loyalty of the party, the nation, and the army, President Trufin Xorlevic slowly dictated the final steps of the revolution to be a silent, to a silent paralyzed parliament. Deceived by reactionary seeking to extinguish democracy and restore the monarchy, he had no choice but to call for a state of emergency and begin a thorough transformation of the state to ensure the interests of the people are forever guarded. In Belgrade, Nice, Parisia, and other cities, popular militias are seizing power from local authorities and enacting justice upon all those they deem enemies of the people. The army, paralyzed by purges and losing its influence, had little power to stop the uprising, and one after another, its leadership were being arrested for charges of real or imaginary. In the midst of the burning revolutionary flame, the Serbian Socialist Republic was proclaimed and the Socialist Worker Party as the sole legal party. We did look. We lost our field marshal. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll install you instead. Unyielding defense. 10% more defense. More max entrenchment. Max entrenchment's not bad. You know what? I'm not going to take anything with you right quite yet. Also, I do want to point out that the Socialist Serbian flag, I think, sucks. Like, I, I do not like this flag at all, but what can we do? Oh, we also have, like, all new things down here. Great intelligence agency. 10% 10 10 organization, 2.5% reinforcement rate. Consumer goods plus 10%. Factory output plus 10%. This patch will focus on concentration of resources in existing factories. And then you are this patch will focus on rapid industrialization, expanding on new worker-owned factories. So we either make our own fa- I mean, I'm kind of thinking we make our own factories better. Mostly because, again, we're a small country. We can't really build too, too many uh, factories ourselves. Friends with benefits. National mobilization. You know what? It's always nice to have. So let's get that one going. And we're going to do just, again, another quick save. Just another quick save here. Again, we have cavalry here. And the cavalry are really just going to be moving their way up towards the coastline. Okay, you're all in this war. Fantastic. I did forget we would be at war with Hungary as well, but that's not a big, big deal. 
Oh, we need to declare war on your puppet. There we go. We're gonna move you in this tile. You're gonna go down here, and again, you're just really gonna go up the coastline and see kind of like what you can get. Most of my units, I kind of don't want them doing anything at all. Really just defending our, uh, defending our borders. While our cavalry just kind of move in for the uh, sweeping attacks here. Behemoth and called into the war, that's fine. Move you, actually no, go up here. I'm going to see if we can get you over to where uh, Zeg Reb. And the fifth Balkan War, 5% war support. I'm going to move you over here because there might be a unit trying to get their uh, passing up here. Again, the cavalry moved pretty quickly. I'm happy with that. I don't like you. I'm just going to wait for you to pass. Then I'm going to move my way around Zeg Reb. And I think right now, like, it's still going fairly okay. But how the fuck? Oh, wait, wait. Is this, uh... Wait. How the fuck did you get here? Wait, how did, how did you arrive over here? I do not know. Go to Graz. I want you going up towards Split, please, and thank you. I think you guys can really just hold position right now. Got reinforcements on their way. I want you to stop attacking. Let this unit just walk on by. Again, we're making we're making moves for sure. Uh, I don't have any else we can have move right now. I want you maybe going to Sarajevo. What if I just have you go around like Roz like this? Maybe that'll work out for us. Did take back splits. They've moved a lot of units in this position, which does make me a little worried. You probably are going to die. I don't know how you even got to Pola, to be completely honest. I already think that it's time for us to do another reload. This is not the, this is not the correct path we want to take. Let's go back to... You know, let's go to our autosave here on the 21st. I will make this work, for sure. Maybe I wish we had a few more troops, but you know what can what can you do? We only have 500 manpower. You're worth two, like Reb's worth more. Gonna move you one tile over like this. You did take back split. You can maybe move you to like the coastline. I don't remember what the actual requirements are for, uh... You know, what the requirements are for, uh... For us to actually win this war. I have a dockyard. You know, build convoys. Why not? Apparently, I have no other naval tech, which I find kind of funny. We could move our way to Sarajevo. Got Romanian troops over here. They're doing an okay job. They can probably kill Hungary soon as well. But you're in a port. Right, you're in a port. We only have two convoys. I don't know how many convoys you need to uh, move. We need three convoys. I only have two in total. Uh, what can I do about that? How many? How long will you take till the 19th? Yeah, you go over there a little bit faster, please. Like, you're definitely going to die. Which is less than ideal for sure. So I think we need to go back all the way, all, all the way to, uh... The beginning of this war. We need to do it a little bit better. How, how do we do it? Like, which, which, what's the correct path here? I mean, I think getting encirclement, encircled is, is going to be a pretty uh, common theme. Yeah, okay, we clear war in Hungary. I wish we didn't clear war in Hungary. It would make my life easier. I want you here, you here, you go here. Cavalry division... You're going to go to Ragusa and try to go, like, around the Sarajevo. And these guys will just put a little bit of pressure here. Maybe they can get something done. Maybe they can't. I get it. Why are you going up to split? I want you to go up to the city. No, so, wait. This is a pathway. 
Just go over to here for now. Are oh, you moving up like this? How many units are on this path too? Don't worry about that province. It actually doesn't matter. I think we wasted some time by uh, even attempting to take it. Yeah, go to Sarajevo. And you're going to go straight to, straight to Zagreb. Keep a lookout for enemy uh, forces. So who are we at war with? We're at war with the entire empire. Romania's got some troops over here as well, which is nice. Ignore this. This is not real. We got one trip in Sarajevo. You're going to go to this city because you're already going to Zagreb. Pull one province back. Move around like this. Move you here. Move you one tile up. Counterattack, counterattack. What are you doing? You're not you're not really doing what I want you to do. Like how close? I mean Illyria, I think if we take Zagreb, they will capitulate. We'll be there in now. Illyria is now at 26 out of 29. And I think it does have you kind of go towards Vienna. Okay, Illyria's collapsed. That's what we wanted to see. Fantastic. And really, right now, like, we're in a weird situation where I kind of want them just to randomly take provinces back. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. I still actually really wish I knew what the actual requirements are for... for us to actually win the war. Yeah, we'll just have you move your way up. Okay, you now need to fall back one tile. You need to go back to Zagreb? Like, that kind of seems like it makes sense. Move you here. Move you here. You're on this line. This line shouldn't exist. So move you up. Move you back up to Zagreb. Like, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a clean war. Do not support the CSA. Are you out of your goddamn mind? You're moving here. You're moving away, though, slowly. When are you gone? You're gone now? I think Roz might be, like, a victory condition. Again, I wish I kind of actually knew. Pull you back. You're still in Belgrade. That's good for us. Now they're going to be back in Zagreb. Which is really not... It's definitely not where I want you to be. Romania is still doing an okay job. I really, really wish I knew what the actual victory conditions were. Move you here for a second. Hold position, hold position. Do not, do not let them take this province. Got national mobilization. That's nice. You're going to defend Zagreb with your life? What if I just send, like, another cavalry division and, like, you just go, kind of go around Vienna in, like, a weird kind of way? In a way that doesn't really make any sense to anybody, but... Okay. okay, I need you to stop attacking. You move here, you move here. They really, they don't want me to make uh, some maneuvers here, which is a little sad. Give me the organization, please. Okay, this is not where we want to go. Move one tile back again. We've got encirclement here. Kind of. We kind of have an encirclement here. Romania is doing fine, relatively speaking. If anything, it might be better for us if Hungary were to capitulate entirely. Want you on this line. You here is fine. Hold Belgrade. They're now un unencircled. But I still want you moving up towards Vienna. Where are you going? You're going around to Zagreb? Again, okay, just, just see if you can maybe get to Vienna. I, I know it, maybe it's asking a lot. But, like, what, what if, you know? Like, what, what, if, what if that actually worked out in our favor? 
Thing is, I don't have a lot of units. Give me, like, two more cavalry for now. You need to last stand again? You do. Last stand again in Zagreb, please. You will take 16 days to actually get to where I want you to be. We still have Zayder Yevo, though. The man with 100 faces. Uh, National populism goes down. Political power. Stability goes up. Minus 5% organization is not going to make a big difference for them, to be honest. I mean, they lose war support, but I don't think that actually matters at all. At least I don't think it matters. Give me this. We're at negative 40% stability. Give me, give me the stability. But uh, now that we're still trying to figure out the puzzle of how to beat the Austrians, tune in next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.